to eat breakfast there, so she needed to go a little bit earlier. And yeah, I'm headed to my ultrasound. So I didn't tell you guys, I was like looking back at the vlog footage. I thought I had already talked about it, but I looked it up Saturday morning before I went to work because I got an email uh, that had my test results, my lab work. And apparently now with the doctor that I go to, the new system he's using, everything is on patient portal, which is super awesome. The hospital has that and patients can see everything, their lab results, their ultrasound, so anything that the doctor orders, the patients can see. So that's super cool. So I went ahead and signed up for it and I looked at it Saturday before work, which kind of got me very confused because everything came back normal <laughs> so he ran a complete thyroid panel and I'd have to look it was like the TSH T3 T4 T uh, the free four. he also ran a CMP um, my vitamin D level and my a1c and the only thing that came back abnormal was my vitamin D which I knew I had been vitamin I I always kind of run vitamin D a little deficient not and actually it's not even deficient just a little insufficient um, I think it was a 27 and the cutoff is 30 or maybe it's a 28 I don't know I'd have to look at it but all of my thyroid came well with came back well within normal all of my liver everything came back normal um, even my a1c which had been I had been like borderline pre-diabetic in 2015 so everything came back normal because he had had lab work from 2015 and then he got lab work from my OB from 2016 and everything was normal so he had told me because of the previous lab work it was highly unlikely that my thyroid was out of whack enough to cause the alopecia areta or whatever it's called and so when I saw that I'm like so confused now because he told me during my visit that it was very possible that it was from postpartum hair loss um, that it could happen postpartum especially since I was still losing a lot of hair all over not just in those areas and I mean this area I haven't really noticed any more loss from it just that little bit you know a little while ago and from the crown I really haven't noticed any loss any more loss either but I'm still losing a lot of hair just in general all over my hair so or all over my head so he was saying that it's very likely that it's still from postpartum hair loss, but that's super scary to me because what if I want to have another baby and I go through postpartum hair loss again and I lose twice as much hair because I've lost like five times as much hair as I did when I was pregnant with Maddie. So it's just very scary to me. But anyway, now I'm like so confused because I don't even know. I was looking up. Of course, online is like the worst place to look for information, but I was Googling what else could be symptoms of this type of hair loss, and a lot of things I found was like celiac disease, uh, rheumatoid, rheumatoid arthritis, um, and I forgot what the other one was, but it's just, I don't have any symptoms of any of those, so it's kind of like I'm leaning more towards postpartum hair loss since all my thyroid labs come back normal came back normal but I do have that supposed lump or nodule or whatever on my thyroid so I guess I'm just gonna wait and see what the ultrasound results come back because if it's too large he's gonna have me get it biopsied and then we'll kind of go from there so I don't know I would think if the nodule was affecting anything my thyroid labs would be out of whack and they weren't so kind of confusing I don't know have any of you guys experienced hair loss like this and it been had been caused by something else I'm just curious I mean obviously everyone's different but yeah I mean pretty much a hundred percent of you guys when I first talked about the hair loss were talking about thyroid and I'm just so confused now <laughs> so anyway I'm happy to know everything's going normally um, and I mean there's really no reason for me to be put on any type of medication that's nice however I guess we'll see what the ultrasound says so like I, th I thought I had talked about this already and apparently I was telling somebody else because uh, it wasn't you guys so anyway I'm headed to my sonogram and then I'm going to go to the post office drop off some orders pick up P.O. Box mail I don't know I've had a couple of you guys messaging me saying like have you gone to your P.O. Box yet a magazine and some letters or something so I'm gonna head there after and then I'm going to go home and I think I'll 
we have today is Emmy swim class, which is nice. They start um, sport their practices this week, and I think I talked about this yesterday. Emmy has practice Tuesday and Thursday at six, or maybe I didn't. Maybe I was telling my mom. And then Maddie has soccer practice Fridays at six. So it's gonna kind of be busy. I'm glad I switched swim class because. Otherwise, Emmy would not have a break at all. So I switched swim class to 420, which should put us home right around 515 or so, which will be nice because she can grab a snack um, or dinner or something, a light dinner before she has practice, and then come home and either finish up dinner or if she's not hungry, she can just take a shower and head to bed, which is nice. It should be okay. But because it's twice a week, it's going to be a lot for me. Luckily, I'm thinking I'm only going to do this week and next week of swim lessons and then she'll be done. She has room, like I have room in the schedule to do another two weeks, um, but the week of 4th of July, they don't have them, so it would she would take a week off and then we would go the next two weeks. So I may do that, I don't know, I guess we'll kind of have to see how basketball goes. And then what stinks about Maddie's practice being at six o'clock on Friday is I work this coming Friday. The next Friday we're going camping. The following Friday I work, <laughs> which super stinks. Cause I'm like, oh, I'm not even gonna be there for her first practice. I was there for Emmy's first soccer practice. That stinks for me, so. Anyhow, let me go get this done and then hit home. Okay, finally checked my PO box. Got all my orders off. So if you had an order from the last like week, I think five days something like that all my orders are out I have zero orders which is nice um, packages lots of packages from you guys letters cards all kinds of stuff I have not been to my PO box in so long <laughs> so long so I'm gonna open this stuff up at home because it's almost 930 and the rest needs to go to work and I want to try and get a coffee <laughs> because I feel like I'm gonna need it today which I actually want to go I'm like torn because I'm on a pantry no buy and a freezer no buy and we've been doing really good but even on the rest is getting like super antsy he's like what we can't go to the store and buy he, he wants to go to Costco he's like we can't go to the store and buy this we can't go to the store and buy that and I'm like no we're on a pantry no buy till the end of June so he's even like itching to go to the grocery store we're awful I know our pantry actually is looking really bare of things to like eat normally because we've been using a lot of it and some of it, it just makes me realize like not to buy it again because we're not eating it at all. Freezer's still looking good though. So I really wanted to go buy coffee. Does that, does that count? I don't know because a bunch of you were giving me some suggestions to do like espresso, shots of espresso or kind of in the Keurig and I, it's cheaper. I mean, I still have my Starbucks gift card so that's not a huge deal, but it's much cheap. Oh, and I don't have any caramel protein shakes. Oh, I can't get a coffee. Oh, that stinks. Maybe I'll try it with vanilla because I've heard that one's really good too. So yeah, I can't go buy coffee because that's a pantry item. Technically, I don't keep coffee in my pantry though. I keep it in my cabinet where my pots and pans are. Maybe I can get around that just like the bread. That's so awful. Awful. Dollar Tree we go. Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. All of this cute beach stuff makes me wish I was having like a beach summer party. Look at how cute these are. Unfortunately, oh my gosh, look at how cute that is. None of my children have summer birthdays. <laughs> we take up the whole fall, September, October, November. Oh my gosh, they have more over here. <gasps> look, that is so cute. Oh my gosh, I feel like we need this for like a 4th of July party or something. Look at that, Tiki, oh my gosh, look at the flamingo headband. I'm so obsessed with this stuff. <gasps> look at the flowers. Oh, I would have loved to have this in my beetle. How freaking cute is that? I actually think I'm gonna get one and try and put it in my, in my pilot. Which one do I like better, this one or this one? Even the plastic stuff is super cute. Like, look at those margarita glasses. Look at the tablecloths. Such cute stuff. Like, if you wanted to have stuff you could reuse, super cute. And 
I don't know, I just see these here. I don't know if they have more, but I bought these in hot pink a few summers ago and I still use them. They had different lengths, love that. These are also a great deal, like paperweights for balloons, because let me tell you, uh, we got, I for Andres's 40th birthday one, I think I paid $5 at Party City. So that's a good deal. I saw these bug catchers on Kimmy's channel. She got them for her kids. They do have little vents so the bugs don't die, but I'm just not really about catching bugs. For one, I don't really like bugs. <laughs> for two, uh, I don't know, I think that's a little cruel. So yeah, let me get one of these though. We have all kinds of fun stuff here. But it's hard, because I'm like, if I get one, I feel like I have to get multiple. <laughs> Bubble section, this is always a win for the summer. These are kind of cool, the little mini individual guys. Those are neat. Um, this little bubble gun is only a dollar. Obviously we're at Dollar Tree, it's smaller, but it's the same concept as the one that I got for $3 at Target. So that's kind of cool found them over here so mine are the hot pink ones and like I said I got these I feel like a few years ago but I have a bunch of the sizes I have this one the larger one this one so they do have some and look at how good of a deal this is you get five of these I don't know what I would use them for but they're so cute <laughs> they also have the other plastic containers and a whole bunch of other bins this is a cool size three of them hmm. that's nice Okay, so little hampers like this. Oh, this is kind of cool. This is a delicate wash thing. That's a nice, nice thing. But we have uh, mesh laundry bags. Those are great to travel with for your dirty clothes. And then they have these um, good size. I feel like Essentials is the brand that Walmart sells, but good size totes are a little flimsy, but not bad. And then they have these. Oh, and then they have the large vacuum storage bags, although I heard these are not that great, but they do have. My Dollar Tree still has the makeup organizers. I actually think I'm gonna get a couple of these and a couple of these for my desk area. Quickest trip to HEB ever on the desk gave me specifics to come in here for. And he was like, don't get distracted. What do I do? Pick up deodorant that's on sale. <laughs> and I'm like looking at sunglasses. I'm like, let's, we gotta go, we gotta go. Okay, now I'm putting you guys in my pots and pans cabinet because it's the easiest thing to do. So, finally got home after running all those errands. 3,000 steps later. No, I'm just joking. Um, it was a very eventful morning. Now, it's 11.15. I'm about to feed Autumn. I haven't even had breakfast or lunch yet because I wasn't sure if they needed me to fast for the sonogram, so I just did it anyway. And then I went to Dollar Tree, and then I went to HB, and now I'm home. Never got my coffee, although it probably sounds like I'm speaking a mile a minute, but I'm not. Um, but I wanted to give some shout-outs to you guys. I'm super excited. I have not. I'm awful because there's two Mother's Day things in here, <laughs> which I'm awful. I know I am. There was a card um, from one of you guys for Mother's Day, and then there was a card, okay, who, <clears throat> let me see, the Mother's Day card was from Annabelle from California, thank you so much, that was so super sweet, and then I also got just like a thank you card in Dutch, I believe, Dankjewel, yes, Dutch from Jacqueline, I'm assuming. Yeah, that's fine. And it says, Dunk, Dunk Jewel. Is that how you say it? Those of you that speak Dutch, <laughs> is that how you say it? I don't know, but that's super cool. And then uh, this is from, I have no idea, but it's from Atlanta. And I don't remember if somebody, like I remember talking with somebody about coupons, but look how awesome. And they just, she just sent this, but she put like my address return and Send. The only reason I know it's from Atlanta is because that's where it was stamped. Um, but look at all these dollar off coupons. Premier Protein from the four pack. So you know I'm going to be going to get my caramel on. And actually with a dollar off each pack at Walmart, they're $7.27. That makes them $6.27. So they're a little over $1.50 each, um, which is great. $1.56 to be exact, which is pretty good because I saw that on um, 
Costco's website, they do have um, the caramel in the 18 pack and it's $1.39 per unit. So it's a little cheaper, 17 cents cheaper than with the coupon. However, you have to pay $3.99 or $2.99 for shipping, which bumps it up a little bit also. So this is awesome. I am like, when I opened this, I was like, oh my gosh, jackpot. I don't know how many there are here, but there's probably at least 20. Gold money right here. Thank you so much so much that is super super appreciative i don't even remember seeing that in the circular so i don't maybe we didn't get it i don't know so that's super awesome and then i've been <laughs> i um don't know your name oh no it's, it's here angelique angelique right yes from california i finally picked up your package and you have to remind me down below um what exactly i remember you saying your sister or somebody was in the magazine. Maybe it was you that was in this magazine. But here's the Fabuplus magazine. And I'm really excited to read this because it's nothing but plus size women in it. And it seems really, really cool. Yeah, so I'm really excited. But remind me who was in this magazine. And I think this is hilarious because I, I call it Chub Rub 2, which is like chafing between your legs. And I remember in one of my videos I was talking about on the desk, like needing baby powder for Chub Rub and stuff. And somebody was like, that sounds disgusting. Why would you ever say that? It's printed in a magazine. That's why I would say it. Then, this is from, and I can't really read the name. So I'm going to try my hardest. Sandy? Maybe Sandy. It's definitely San an S from California. I think it says Sandy. I could be wrong. At first I thought it said Sandra, but I'm pretty sure that's a Y on the end. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below if you were the one that sent this. I'm pretty sure Sandy. But this is an awesome package. I think I remember talking to you about samples of um, stuff because she sent me a boatload of allergy samples. Like Zyrtec, um, we have some RhinoCort allergy spray. You must, I'm, I swear I remember talking to you, work for like an ENT or something, or an, at an allergy place, because these are all like doctor samples. Um, what is this? Oh, eye drops. Some eye drop samples, some saline mist which is awesome, we use this all the time. Um, just like a whole bunch of Zyrtec, which is perfect. Some coupons, which is also awesome. And then, this is the best part about it for the girls. Look at all of these stickers. Wow. Me... <laughs> these, oh my God, look at the Hello Kitty ones. Oh, so cute. What? Oh my gosh, there's even more. <sighs> there's so many. There of them. are. This is awesome. And stickers like this come from doctor's offices. Oh. So they are going to have a freaking field day with these. Whoa. Thank you so, so much. This is like overly not necessary, and I so appreciate it. Thank you. And then the last package that I got is from Samantha in Connecticut, which was a long time ago. It was for Mother's Day. It was sent out May 11th. And I'm so glad they didn't send it back, but she sent me a Mother's Day note and she picked up some stuff for the girls. <laughs> so we have a Powerpuff Girls puzzle, a Lena puzzle, and two pack uh, play packs. I love these for traveling and for in the car, like when we go places. And then a teether. Dora Teether for Autumn, which is so sweet. And then, this is how long ago this was, she found five Delphiniums. Five. Which is insane. I checked every dollar store in San Antonio, couldn't even find one more, and she sent me five, which is so awesome. So I actually think I'm going to buy another one of those vases and fill it and put it upstairs with the delphiniums because I love them that much. So I am like in awe over you guys how generous and how sweet and kind you guys are and I just am so, so grateful as always. So thank you. Thank you very, very much. You're going to be a wonderful mommy someday, you know that? <laughs> Mm. 
So in case anybody was wondering what the deodorant deal at HEB was, it was two Dove large uh, solid deodorants in the different scents. So I picked up Blue Fig and Orange Blossom. Picked up two of those. And I love Dove. The original was my favorite. It has been for years and I noticed within the last year it doesn't hold, hold me over scent wise anymore. So I got these for Christmas, the pomegranate and lemon verbena, and these last literally all day. I'll put it on the morning and before I go to bed at night, usually I double up with my original. I'll wear it in, the, I'll put it on the morning, put it on before I go to bed. Um, but with this one, I, it literally, it says 48 hours, but it will last me all day from morning till night. And it smells so good. So I picked up four of those. They were, did I say two for five? which is a good deal because normally they're like $3.50 each. So I picked up four of those, two of the figs, and then this used to be my favorite, the Cool Essential, it's cucumber and green tea. So I picked up two of those. So yeah, I'll have deodorant for the next eight months or so, maybe like six months, because in the summer I tend to use more of it, but good deal. And the Dollar Tree haul, I picked up 40 things, so that will be on a separate haul for sure. There's no way I'll be able to do it. You want to see what my kitchen looks like right now? We have one, two, three, four loads of laundry to do. There's a load in the dryer and a load in the washer waiting to go into the dryer. I have my whole table covered with Dollar Tree stuff. My whole island covered with mail. Some old clothes that were mine when I was smaller, mail bag that needs to go up, more mail. Kitchen's clean, like there's no dishes, and the stove's clean, but there's just stuff everywhere. What are you gonna do? So I'm sitting here doing a bunch of things. I keep getting distracted. I came over here to edit a video. I edited and uploaded a grocery haul, which I put it kind of in the disclaimer. Um, this was the Sam's and Costco one from several weeks ago. I just never ended up getting it up, um, so now it's up. <laughs> two and a half weeks late but I didn't break I have not broken my pantry or freezer no buy just yet uh, we have 11 days so I'm hoping to make it and not go buy anything that's the goal I'm pretty sure I'll make it I just have to work with what I have which I'm not used to autumn's wake um, so what I've been doing is also planning uh, we have a busy week with lots of things to do so I haven't been doing plan with me I know some of you guys miss them but really, like with my um, hourly, I've just been using leftover stickers. It's like nothing super. This week, I just use a whole bunch of leftover stickers with different color pens. And then this week, I'm using a kit from uh, I almost said Rory Sweet Addiction, Libby and Co. Just a leftover kit that I've had forever. And yeah, next week, I'm going to use my new Erin Condren, my hardbound. Autumn spitting and go from there. So I promise I will start to eventually maybe go and do plan with me's again or some sort of planner um, videos in general. I do hauls, but I'm thinking plan with me's need to come back. It's just so hard. I already filmed so many things. Weight loss Wednesdays, grocery hauls, crockpot series, what I eat for dinner. I vlog every day. I do baby hauls planner hauls. I mean, I just do a lot of stuff here on my vlog channel. I just feel like trying to fit everything in is really hard. So if I do like a plan with me every week, plus this, plus this, plus this, it just kind of adds up. So that's why I haven't been doing them and I apologize. So I was planning for the week just to kind of lay out my week and see what it looks like. Got the video uploaded. I also transferred my Erin Condren credits from you guys. So I was looking on Erin Condren's website and then I was like, oh, I need to go finish paying for the cruise so I need to do that I'm just like making myself a list of different things to do now autumn's awake I need to go downstairs and move clothes from the washer to the dryer and throw a new thing of clothes in the washer and feed her so that is the plan <laughs> we're gonna do all of that at some point today and 345 we need to be out of here for swim class so it's 220 right now Hehehehe. <laughs>
<laughs> now you know me. <laughs> Good morning. Hey, what are you doing? Did you sleep good? What'd you dream about? Unicorns and duckies and butterflies? Huh? Autumn. Good morning, Mama. Autumn! Autumn! I know you hear me. Yes, I know you hear Mama. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am currently browning up the meat for tonight's dinner. I had a two pound pack of extra lean ground beef in the fridge thawing out from the other day. I'm really trying to focus on using up the stuff that I have in my pantry and freezer. Oh, so hard. Anyway, <laughs> enough of that. I um, am browning it up because by the time we get, my mom's coming over to walk and to have dinner tonight. And by the time she gets here, Let's see, by the time, so swim class is at 4.20, she'll be done at 4.50. We'll probably be out of there by like 5.10. Pick up Maddie around 5.30. I may pick her up before we go, depending on how late we get out. And then come home, I'm gonna do a hamburger helper spaghetti. So I'm gonna brown up all of this meat, use half of it for the hamburger helper, and then the other half for dinner another night this week. But it's just easier to brown it up than to split it up since it's already thawed out. That'll keep it kind of fresh for the next few days. And we can either do tacos or a beef enchiladas. We could do beef taquitos. Um, we could do beef bowls. Um, what else? I could also I could do another hamburger helper. Tonight we're doing the spaghetti hamburger helper and I'm just trying to use it up. I've mentioned before I'm not gonna purchase these anymore. And it's just something that I wanna go ahead and use up, so. Yeah, that, and then I'll figure out what we're gonna do with the turkey, with the turkey, the beef, another night. Sitting down having dinner, Maddie's home. What are we having, Maddie? I have a juice box with some uh, spaghetti. <laughs> and I'm in this lane there. And this <coughs> one is my papa too. Yeah, Autumn just finished her papa too. Emmy's having some, what are you drinking? Milk and the spaghetti. It has vegetables, meat. It has carrots and um, it's, what's the other vegetable? Zucchini. Uh, it's and really tomatoes. good. And tomatoes, yeah. Good job. Y'all like it? Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. 
You got poo poo. Can I see you tomorrow? Good night. Can I see you tomorrow? Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. You love me too. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy. Please don't take my sunshine away. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord to If I should die before I pray the Lord my soul to take. Amen. Mommy, say good night, Good night, see you tomorrow. Autumn, good night, see you tomorrow. And Sissy. Good night, see you tomorrow. And what's up to this? How do you expect to see? <laughs> Turn it. Like that. Good night, see you tomorrow.